Hi friends, good morning and happy moon day. We've got a fiery moon for this week. <laughs> um, so calm down, Leo, calm down, Leo. Um, I know you're enjoying being so close to the full moon, but this is not your time to shine. We are still in the waxing gibbous phase for today uh, before we move into the full moon in Virgo. So Virgo energy kind of like rains in that fire and pulls it down to the ground, gives it a, uh, like, think of um, the transition from Leo to Virgo is like, you know how you put the rocks around uh, a fire pit to kind of contain the fire, give it a place to uh, not go out of control. Um, that's kind of the energy of shifting from Leo to Virgo that we will be having this week. Um, but to start off your week with fire is, is pretty, pretty awesome. Hopefully you're feeling motivated and inspired. I like to do creative things on a Leo day. Uh, I like to dress up and wear red or orange or yellow, whatever fiery color, uh, uh, appeals to you. Um, I also try to do something creative on, on a Leo day because Leo likes to shine and create. And uh, so I try to do some sort of creative project, especially on a waxing Leo day. Um, I might, on a waning Leo day, I might do something a little more lazy. Um, if, if I'm feeling like I'm having excess fire uh, on a Leo day, I might uh, try to do some cardio to burn that off, burn off the XX fire. Um, and I wanted to, I've got cinnamon in my coffee this morning. Cheers to you and happy moon day. Um, I wanted to get that Leo fire energy out uh, first uh, before we go into our mantra, uh, which I'm, I'm going to stick with like the quarter uh, moon kind of energy for the mantra for the week uh, because the full moon is going to take the stage this week. This is a Virgo full moon. This is all about getting organized and grounded. So we're going to do a root chakra mala or root chakra mantra for today. Uh, we'll chant with our malas. And we're also listening to the 396 hertz, which is the root chakra solfeggio frequency. Um, so I wanted to get that fire energy out before we come back down and ground with Leo energy. We've got an earth magic deck to pull from for the collective card and then also some root chakra oracle cards too. So get settled in, take a deep breath, maybe take a sip of your coffee. Um, Feel, feel uh, your body on the seat that you are sitting on. If you are standing up and getting ready while you're listening to this, feel your feet on the ground. Connect to that earth energy. Um, <clears throat> because we need, we need that earth energy to balance all the fire for the beginning of this week. So... Oh, and the, the mantra is LAM, L-A-M. LAM, 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 LAM. Lam, 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 
lam 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 Alrighty, so are we back to center, <laughs> back to center, back to grounding. Um, another thing that I don't know if I've mentioned this before about uh, doing the mantra practice in the morning, and then if you actually wear your mala throughout the day, uh, you're, it's almost like you're programming, programming your mala to have that particular mantra that you're using and um, you don't always have to use a seed mantra you can use an affirmation and repeat that over and over again so by wearing it throughout the day it's like you're you're bubbling yourself uh, with that energy whatever mantra or affirmation that you use for the day so the bulk of the energy for this week is going to be fire and earth um, and then in the weekend, we move into Libra. Uh, so it's, it's really kind of, whoops, this one wants to come out. It's really kind of, I knew it was going to be this one. This one, there's a couple cards in this, in this chakra deck that always come out. Um, there's a solar plexus one that gets pulled every time I use it for readings. Every time, every time it comes out, it's a solar plexus one. And then this is like the... I would go out on a limb and say the only root chakra one that comes out. Oh, this one comes out sometimes too, but yeah, it's crazy. So, oh yeah, and I didn't, um, I didn't pull a stone for today. Um, so <laughs> the, the root chakra card that we collectively got is uh, the Crystal Kingdom allies. So Gaia's womb is lined with crystals and minerals in many colors of the light spectrum. Each one is a unique and specialized healer with wisdom and transformational energies to share and imprint upon you. Spread your hands wide and imagine each fingertip plugging into a different vortex of our sacred planet. Call in those energies and allow them to support you encourage you and heal you from within uh, the crystal they recommend is bloodstone and the herb is nutmeg um, so this is really like helps you to visualize that grounding energy and plugging your hands into the earth uh, same thing you can do the same thing with your feet like really planting your feet on the ground to help you connect um, I just this is just one of the crystals that I have uh, this is a um, earth star chakra crystal as well. This is petrified wood. Um, so that like 
puts you even deeper into the earth, into the center of the earth. Uh, I struggle with being grounded, so uh, I work with petrified wood a lot. Garnet is another one of my favorites. Um, our pheasonite is my favorite. I'm trying to think if I have our pheasant. Our pheasantite is my favorite Virgo stone. Um, let's see. Okay. Sorry, I was wrong. Um, Cause I was just, I was just working with it recently. Hopefully, I didn't. <laughs> I do this all the time too. I, I put it in my pockets and then I accidentally wash it in the washing machine. So I may have accidentally done that. Um, so the cool thing about working with crystals is every crystal is going to have earth energy in it because it came from the earth. So for example, if you wanted to pick out a stone to work with Leo energy, energy today, such as carnelian, tiger's eye, any like red or fiery looking uh, fiery looking uh, stone will help connect you to the fire element but it's also going to connect you to the earth element so that's kind of a cool thing to work with crystals this week as we're transitioning from Leo to Virgo um, so the first half of the week we're just going to be in Leo and like I said earlier it's like a creative time um, shine a spotlight on something um, highlight Shine a spotlight on someone else that you know. Um, I My keyword for Leo is encouragement. Like I, I really want to encourage other people to shine, to pull out that, because uh, we're so hard on, our, on ourselves and we don't want to seem like egotistical or, um, which is a trap that Leo can get stuck in is being egotistical. And I really want to lift everybody up and that's how I kind of combat, combat that uh, Leo egotisticalness is because I really want to support other people and I often kind of like dim my light a lot um, so Leo time Leo moon time is is a, a great time to toot your own horn or toot somebody else's horn for them and uh, I like starting off the week with the fire I know I probably say this about every every sign and on every moon day but I like starting out with the fire energy. It gets you going, gives you that energy to like really get things done. Uh, that way you can, once we get past Wednesday and hump day, we're moving into the Virgo energy, getting ready for the full moon. And so, oh, this has to come out. No. Oh. The, the the key words for this year so far have been love and compassion, specifically self-love and self-care. Uh, that seems to be the focus. We're also in a sixth year, uh, meaning when you add 2022 20, together, you get six. Uh, so that makes six a, or that makes 2022 a sixth year, uh, which is the lover's card in the tarot deck. Um, which deals with, uh, for me specifically, I'm, uh, six is also my life, my life path number. So building community, uh, support, compassion, love, uh, is a really big theme for my life. And it's going to be a really big theme for this year as well. I don't, I don't, I'm kind of feeling called to pull more than one card for, for this week. Um, so Thursday we move into Virgo. Interesting. Love, music, compassion, and harmony are the, are the, I feel like I need to pull another one too. I don't know why. That's so interesting. Um, so we've got lots of cards for this week, lots of energy for this full moon week. Um, interesting. Um, okay, so this, this makes me feel like it's going this uh, the energy for this week is going to be a little bit of a tamed, grounded um, kind of energy versus usually a full moon makes you makes you feel like you want to be out and socializing, 
with this Virgo energy and we have this island solitude card come up this might be a time of just really like getting down and loving yourself finding this harmony within with solitude uh, being appreciative of that um, emptiness and allowing yourself to feel feel fulfilled fill fill your cup back up um, using this energy for yourself instead of projecting it out into the world is kind of the energy that i'm getting from the three of these cards together um, and it's fun that we have a full moon on friday um, so hopefully we'll have some uh, a fun full moon uh, twitch around that time depending on my uh, my work schedule. I think I might be working late that night. We'll see. Um, so this will be a good time to just like, I don't know, just maybe just kind of like celebrate yourself, celebrate um, the hard work that you've done uh, so far this year. Um, I love, I love having a Virgo full moon because it's just going to help us like check in and see because like we are powering through this um we're powering through this year it's going by so fast uh, that's what i was looking for yeah so the the full moon in virgo it's been six months since the new moon in virgo in virgo season uh which is in the fall and in the fall when we're prepping for the fall you know you're kind of like uh, cleaning up your yard, uh, cleaning up uh, your home, putting your summer things away, getting your winter stuff out, uh, getting ready to decorate for fall, getting ready to decorate for the holidays. Um, so it's it's like a really organizational time. And six months, this, this is like six months since then. So this is like a check-in, like, uh, and we're also transitioning, getting ready to transition seasons again. So this is a check-in and see like, do I need to restructure and reorganize things, um, especially since um, starting your your uh, yearly intentions in January? It's been this is like a quarterly check in um, to reorganize and restructure. Um, I'm a totally different person. One of the questions in here is what lessons have you learned since then? And are you a different person now? I'm a totally different person than I was in the fall. Uh, uh, definitely have gone through a big transformation since then. Uh, this this was a winter of hibernating and uh, self-care, healing, uh, shedding a lot of things that don't serve me anymore. Um, and then we're getting ready for the spring equinox. Oh my gosh, I can't even, I can't even. Yeah, and celebrating the things that like what are some of the things that you have implemented into your life that have given you more structure and organization that maybe felt difficult uh, to begin with, but now that it's part of your routine, it's like, it's something to celebrate. Like the full moon is for celebrating. Let's celebrate, celebrate like how much you have accomplished within the last six months, which in the, within the last three months since the new year. Um, and cre hopefully this organization creates harmony in your life. I love that we have the music and harmony um, <clears throat> for this for this week. Uh, let's see if there's any like key things that we need to focus on. And I, I will I will have the timestamps if you need to skip anything. Uh, by all means, feel free to. What did I do with that? <laughs> Oh, it's in here. I got it. I got it. It's Monday. Give me a break. Okay. Yeah, I'm really keying in with this music. Oh, I think. Oh, and love. Music. Ah, music. What would life be like without it? It's not something that we humans invented, rather music has been around music has been around since time began. 
subtle and dramatic textures of sound have existed as long as there have been beings that could hear them. For our ancient ancestors playing, paying close attention to sounds, rhythms, and vibrations from the environment helped them survive. It also, it's also been compelling for humanity to create music through our own voice and musical instruments. As we have evolved, so have the instruments we've created, some of which, when played, mimic the music of the natural world. Um, this is a time of considerable harmony for you, one where the various elements in your life are flowing together smoothly. Just as in musical harmony, it is the interface of the elements that merge into a cycle of symmetry and balance that evokes feelings of harmony. I love this for like, because we also, we're moving into Libra, uh, in the weekend. Um, so this is like, maybe I'll do, this is, I, okay, it feels like the love and compassion goes with the Leo energy. The island in the solitude goes with the Virgo energy uh, because the Virgo, the virgin, uh, virgin actually means to like fully love yourself. Like the, the definition of the word virgin is, it's not necessarily abstinence, like abstaining from sexual intercourse it's just about like loving the self wholly and fully um and then the hot music and harmony goes towards uh the, with the libra energy here at the end of the week so note the sensations emotions and thoughts you experience when everything seems to be moving along well take three deep breaths and let your breathing be the anchor that reminds me reminds you of this state of consciousness Whenever you, that's a, another thing about like getting into the cycle and getting into the flow uh, with the moon phases and everything, they, er, it all comes back to the breath. That is our own natural rhythm or even like listening to your heartbeat and getting into the flow of your own, your own rhythm. Um, when you recognize this, take three or more deep breaths. Um, and bring forth the memory of those moments when your life was like a symphony. Then every time you exhale, you are releasing the energy of your internal state of harmony into the world and it will have amazing effects. There's also like when we start getting into the flow, like um, uh, we're adding the earth element for our full moon altar, um, getting into the flow of those elements and of the phases and of, of the the signs, it's just, it, it just brings this balance. So we know that like when, when we're low, we can bring it back high. When we're, when we're too high, we can kind of bring it down towards the middle. It's like all about just like finding that symphony that works for you. Um, let's see if there anything we need to point out about the island. I'm just going to skim and see if anything really jumps out at me. Let's see, we've got this. There's one tree out there on this island, like standing strong. Although an island like this can be a metaphor for isolation and desolation, the thriving tree proves that even in the harshest of environment, there is life. We can see the tree's spider-like roots spreading along the rocks, seeking nourishment from the moist soil. The sense of peace and solitude depicted in this image also provides nourishment for the soul. Um, you need to teach, yeah, so I think maybe this Virgo energy is going to be more about like celebrating the self and not necessarily like an outward expression. Um, and really like kind of feeling within your body, like Virgo earth energy is, uh, brings us back to our body our physical the physicality of our being and really like allowing yourself to feel feel the pride and the gratitude that you have accomplished within the last six months from from Virgo season um, if you use the planner last year look at like the, look at the like uh, 
the daily routine that you had set and scheduled when we when we were entering Virgo season last year. Um, and even just looking back at like what what you've accomplished and brought into your day since January, since you set your year intentions. Um, and then of course, always focusing on love and compassion, uh, treating everybody that you encounter on the street, at the grocery store, driving down the road. <laughs> Uh, remember that like we are all going through this difficult time together and to have more compassion for yourself but also for everyone around you as well um, I think I love the flow of this it totally goes with with the flow of this week which is fire earth and air uh, I also I don't know if I mentioned this with the solfeggio or with the music card is like the solfeggio frequencies is another way to bring balance into your life if you're feeling like you've got excess of something like if at the beginning of this week if you feel like you're having excess fire listen to a grounding uh, solfeggio frequency for example the 396 hertz and you can play this in your home and it totally like changes and shifts the energy of, of your home of the room that you're in of your office uh, putting it in your earbuds while you're walking through the store might help you kind of like uh, stay stay together and not be like feeling everybody else's energy I really struggle with that and listening to earbuds while I'm walking through the store helps me just kind of stay stay within my own little bubble and not uh, venturing out to other people's energy um, so just a quick uh, note I, I added this in uh, the the earth element in there um, going out for a walk and finding finding rocks or uh, sticks uh, so a piece of wood uh, or even an acorn can represent the earth energy You can physically have a bowl of like soil or sand or rocks that you have found. Um, the structure, like the the table that you are actually like using for your altar, can even represent the the earth element. You can decorate it with earthy colors like greens and browns. You can pull mosses, put mosses on there. Like there's so many wonderful things that you can do. You can use red to represent the root chakra. Um, and I physically, my planner represents the earth element for me because it helps me like put all of my energy into a container, just like, just like the rocks around a fire pit. It just helps contain all of the things that I want to do and gives it this structure and organization to like actually help me accomplish things. Whereas if I didn't have this planner, I would just be off all, oh, let me do this, let me do that, let me do this, let me do that, and there's no structure or organization to it. So this this makes my Virgo-ness happy, and it helps contain my fiery and watery and airy elements. It helps put it in this little container so that I'm not just like, woo, all over the place. Um, not that I might al not allow myself. Oh, it's also St. Patrick's Day. Oh, no. Um, I like to cook a big dinner on St. Patrick's Day. Oh, lordy. Okay, so we might get a little bit wild on <laughs> this weekend on the full moon. Um, yeah, I forgot about that. Oh, my gosh. Happy St. Patrick's Day. And then next week, uh, we have the spring equinox, too. So, um... <laughs> I hope this I hope this wasn't too all over the place, but that's just how these weeks are going to be because the energy is increasing, the light's increasing. This is when we get things done. This is when we we like check things off our list because after Friday we're gonna start waning and we're the energy is gonna be decreasing. So now is the time. I try to like get things done between the first quarter and the last quarter, and then the after the last quarter through the new moon that's my like don't put pressure on yourself to get anything done but this is the time to get things done now is the time this is the time now is the hour <laughs> um i hope you have a wonderful day um week full moon saint patrick's day 
Um, I'm sure I will see you around. Um, check out my coffee shop. Thank you everyone who's supporting on the coffee shop, Ko-Fi, whatever you want to call it. Um, that really helps me be able to continue to uh, be consistent and regular with content so that I'm not hustling all these other things <laughs> just to try to make ends meet. Um, so thank you so much for those of you that have supported already and I would uh, love to see more of you there. Uh, I think it's going to be a really nice, cool community. Uh, like I think it feels right. It feels so right. And like, there's not going to be, you don't have to worry about algorithms or missing anything. It's just all right there in one place. Um, so I hope, I hope you guys are enjoying the Ko-Fi as much as I am. Um, coffee, Ko-Fi, whatever. Um, okay. Again, have a good week. Thank you so much. <laughs> I'll see you next time.